beautiful morning out here. Gonna move the combines to Larry's Field. Up the road. Got 100 acres of wheat to crush there today. Look out, you crazy deer. Don't worry, calm down, jeez. Just getting the green machine down the road. Then we'll mostly be ready to go. Jeff's got to get a truck out there and the auger. Larry's just firing up. Doug's going to hop in here. Going to go get... The Volvo, I think. And Jeff and Randy are gonna haul a couple loads into the elevator. Hmm. Just gonna take the Volvo out to the field. If Jeff doesn't flip over in the side by side first, he's fine. All right, trucking now. Guys are getting it opened up. I just got the truck out here. Ah, looks like a few tough spots here. It's laying down a bit right where Larry's working. Hopefully not as bad as uh, the field we were at last night though see what Doug's got opened up over here and maybe I can line up an auger. Oh yeah, all kinds of space over here. This year Jeff decided to uh, bring an auger over. Larry usually likes to use his own but I think doing some welding on it the other day and Jeff was like you know what let's just bring the grain max over. But hopefully this uh, Helps make quick work of this field. Oh sh! I better bring a truck for Doug. Okay. Got those guys in space to jump into. I'm just gonna go line up this auger. No prob. Got her lined up. What the? Oh, it's got the. Travel chain, that makes sense. Good thinking, Jeffrey. Should do it. Let's close this guy. We're back to the races. Oh, just getting this guy all greased up. Should be good to go. Better go see how much these guys have in the truck though. Looking pretty full. Oh yeah. I'd say she's full. Full of the hard red. This baby is loaded. Got a fully loaded peat heading to the bin there. It is quite the bank of clouds above us. I'm just gonna move the Volvo a little further down the field for the boys. You guys are just about to get to the long stretches. Jeff and I are gonna unload this truck.
few drops out there. I put the tarp on the truck so the rain should stop. Just stop for a dinner break, courtesy of Doug's wife, Lillian. Delicious, thank you very much. Much appreciated. And Doug and Randy are rolling. I think they got this truck full, so I'm gonna em empty it out. Oh yeah, I'd say she's corked. Quite the lingering dust. Give our filters problems. You're filling up though. Woo. Tuck is on the last strip here, I believe. Randy's got one or two down there. And I think we're going to hop across the road. That bin, it's got a little bit of room in it. There should be one more truckload here for Larry. So he should be happy. Doug's heading home. I'm hopping in the green machine. Gonna jump across the road. See what we can get done tonight. It is a full harvest moon. See how late we can go before it starts getting tough tonight. We'll get across the road first. Okay, I did not get too far combine. Yeah, I started getting all kinds of alarms on this combine. Kind of alarms that make me want to shut down before you do any more damage, like fuel dosing inlet pressure, extremely low, stuff like that constantly. So I'm shutting her down. All right, not going home quite yet. Let's get the selfie stick in action here. to empty out that green machine. But today it's supposed to rain tonight. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what we have to do. Get some kind of, get a new filter, clean some filters. We'll see. Randy's probably gonna burn the midnight oil tonight though. 